Hey, Seth here. I'm wearing my nightgown, Lone Wolf Edition. You should check out the store for uh, sleepwear. Uh, I want to talk to you about the new Kudu. Kudu is, uh, is out now, but this one's not. So, sneak preview on things you can't buy. But next year, Kudu 10 and a Kudu 20, two different cargo capacities. Uh, the whole deal with this bag is it has a built-in CE Level 2, and those are fancy letters and numbers for Moto Grade Impact Protector. So if you suck at riding bikes, this one actually takes multiple impacts. So you can crash, and then crash, and then crash, and then maybe try to find a different hobby. Um, but it does, it's flexible, it's lightweight, it's perforated. It's a really nice way to uh, have back protection integrated into your bag, close to your back. Uh, two different cargo capacities, but the features are all the same. Inside, rain cover, a tool roll with its own little pocket, so it's quick access, easy to find. There's a fleece line goggle pocket on top. You can carry a soft armor on the bottom. You can route the chin bar of your full face through here, or you can put a half shell in the overflow itself. And the other really nice update to the current Kudu is we have this huge kidney style belt. So it's way more stable and it's just a lot more comfortable than just having a nylon belt with a buckle. And then if you're going full sandy on the uh, lift access, you can actually unzip this and run this all the way around the bottom and the pack falls away and this becomes its own separate back protector with no pack and just a couple jersey style pockets to shove a tool roll and maybe a little uh, beverage flask in the bottom. So that's the Kudu 10, Kudu 20. Those are coming out in January. 200 bucks, 230. I don't know about the Canadians. Sorry guys. This is the new sternum protector. It protects pretty much what it sounds like. Your sternum. This might look a little funny with my nightgown on because it's baggy, but my hair baggy is cool again. So. This guy sits on the front of your body, protects your chest. When you're trying to get super sick footage, sometimes that GoPro can just pile drive straight into your sternum. So we offer a protector to keep you cool and keep the footage clean. Uh, but really this thing mounts with our backpacks and you run the sternum strap underneath to keep this super stable. So it actually provides better video with a more broad and consistent platform for that GoPro to sit on. Uh, you can also run it without the GoPro if you just wanna have some front protection. Uh, especially for collarbones in your rib cage, just not getting jammed up with a bunch of trees when you carcass. This is the most technologically advanced thing you'll find at the entire press camp event. Mark my words. This is the Podium Dirt Series. It looks like a podium bottle, but it's not. It's totally different because it has this mud cap on top and it comes like that. Oh, hey there. I was out in the woods exploring with my Merce. You might call it a satchel, but it's a Merce. This thing's pretty cool. You know why? It's not a backpack. It's actually a fanny pack, just kidding, you didn't know? This guy sits around your waist, leaving your back totally free to move. So if you're doing a lot of like, clearly, I do tons of pull-ups all the time, so I don't like having a backpack because my shoulders are all hindered, so I use this instead, and that way when I really get up on the bars, it really, it's a good workout for mountain biking when you're just hucking the flat. Uh, this guy holds all the things you need, like ibuprofen, Alka-Seltzer, Pepto-Bismol, um, in the side, it's got a magnetic tube trap, so when you get thirsty, drink it, store it away flips right in, super easy. When you have a catastrophe and you need to get to your tools, I call it going dad style. Flip it around, ask your friends, what do you guys need? Uh, I don't know, you need some band-aids? Got some band-aids. Need a pump? Pump it up. That holds your reservoir inside there too, but then you might need some more stuff, like tools. I got those. Tiny, tiny things, like zip ties, duct tape. Ooh, more tire plugs. Clearly I ride bikes a lot, uh, and I fix flats. And then cool new things like 10 speed chain connectors because 10 speed, it's a whole speed lighter than 11 speed and it's two speeds lighter than 12. This is called the repack. Hey, thanks for watching. Seth from Camelback. We had a little bit of fun here. I'm not usually this annoying, just a little bit, but thanks for watching. All this stuff comes out in January, 2018.